It's coffee time, friends. What are y'all up to? I am cooking smoked sausage, cabbage. I'm going to put a little onion in it and a little tomato. Let's go here to my pan. This is just avocado oil that I have in this oil thing. So I'm going to put that in there. And I'm going to start loading my smoked sausage in there. Just like that. Yum, yum. This is gonna be so good. I do this all the time. It's one of my go-tos for quick, easy supper because I don't, you know, have another idea tonight. And Mama's not here. She's out on a Tupperware run. Um, they have an event. Sometimes they do these events and she's excited for an event. Anytime you get out with people, mama likes. She don't do it often. Can y'all see? But tonight she is. And tomorrow she will be too. She loves it, folks. She loves it. And I'm so glad she has something to... You know, sometimes you just need something to fool with. To have to get ready. A reason to get out and go. And mama loves it. I know she don't talk much when she's sitting here. But... She talks a lot when she's out with her friends and, and with the public. She loves the public. She's always worked in the public and dealt with people. And she loves retirement, but she also loves being with people. So that's a win-win for her. And I thank you all for supporting her in her in adventures. And it just means a lot to me. And I appreciate y'all. Now, this is the smoked sausage. Now, I am, if Mama were going to eat tonight, I would do a little different. Because she can eat this tomorrow. She just can't eat it tonight. So, if she wants some leftovers, Mama, I think it's impossible to get her to eat leftovers. Uh, this is the couch. And I just used, this is three colored cold foam mix. And I'm just going to use that and pour it in. And it makes a huge amount. I'm going to show you right now. I was telling a friend of mine the other day about it. And they said, never thought of that. Does it make, it I need to eat two bags? I said, not unless you got eight people or something. I said, because really and truly, it's a lot more than you think. I'm going to try to get this onion out of here without getting that paper all over creation. I'm just going to use this knife. That paper, onion paper. I just ain't a fan of it. I know, y'all heard me whine about that before. Miss Mama being here, she likes to cook. She loves to do, but she loves to go too. We used to tell her if, if, if you was just riding to the outhouse, Mama would want to hop in and go with you. She loves to travel. I used to like to travel more, but I'm about traveled out. When you travel for work, home is the best place you ever want to be. And I just love home. But I think it's just, I think I'm take after my dad too because he was someone. He just wanted to be home. And he'll tell you, can't we just stay home? Why don't you just have to go somewhere? I'm going to go ahead and put my onions in here. This will just cook with it. And it'll just give it a good flavor. Like I said, I don't normally put the onions in here when we have it at night because if Mama's going to eat it, I don't want to do anything that she's not going to be able to eat. But she she might come in later and snack up, but it'll be too late for her to eat then. If she's eating now, I'm sure. I'm sure she's out and about getting something to eat, enjoying herself. That is, I'm not going to put that in there. Is it looking good? I hope. I hope it at least looks good. So what are y'all having tonight? Hey, Mary. Thank you, Mary. Appreciate you. So I'm not putting salt or anything in. I'm just going to let that onion get soft and tender. I'm going to put a little bit of y'all's... Uh, secret in there 
And I could do that now because I do want it to cook in that meat a little bit. And since I'm not using salt, that's a good time to put it. Y'all, uh, Southern Secret onion and garlic. Um, I don't do garlic powder, but this garlic has never bothered me. And this, I don't know why. And I'm just sprinkle, sprinkling. Gonna get the flavor in there, but it ain't gonna be anything bad. And I didn't put near as much as it looked because it was just barely coming out. I just lightly covered the top. Y'all, Southern Secret onion and garlic. So the onion powder in there, the garlic in there is gonna really flavor that meat and those onions are in there as well. What are y'all cooking? Cabbage roll soup? Oh boy, I have made that before. I love it. Grilled cheese, Linda. Now that's a good go-to anytime too. I love grilled cheese. Friday night supper for me was chef salad. I love chef salad. Uh, it's almost like you're not even eating a salad. It's like you're cheating. Because you got ham and turkey and all the mixings and fixings. And eggs and a lot of protein in a chef salad. I'm just going to give these smoked sausages a little turn around here. Take you over and let's just see. Um, so, are y'all ready to, to turn those clocks up to Marnox? You're going to spring forward. Are you ready? You ready to lose an hour on your weekend? You thought last weekend was short. This weekend's one hour shorter. Yeah, you're going to give that air up tomorrow night. So... You'll get it back in the file. I know. I don't like giving my hour up. I don't mind the dark early. I know some of y'all are going to say different. I like it daylight or later, but I also like getting dark early. I'm, I like it both ways. So I guess I'm lucky like that. I should always be happy, shouldn't I? No matter which way it goes. Now, Y'all know Mama ain't crazy about this, but I really like it. It's a little bit of smoked flavored bacon. It's just real bacon bits. And this is real bacon. It's not um, those little things. And it's just going to give it a flavor. And I'm just going to cover the tops of this with this bacon while it's heating there. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm -mm. There's still some in there. Oh, get them onions down there. Folks, this smells so good. Look at it. You can tell it smells good the way it looks. So right now I've got onions and bacon in avocado oil, smoked sausage, y'all's secret, uh, southern secret onion and garlic is what's in there. Are we getting brown? So I've turned those over so they got a good little char on them. I'm going to get a little bit of brownness at least on that one side. Let's see what y'all are up to. Just tuning in. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, where's Mama? She's doing okay. Mama's great. Mama's happy. She is off. Um, her and her director are doing an event. Don't ask me. I think it's like one of those go to the school set up things, tables, and you just bring your stuff. And so they're doing a Tupperware event table. Mama's worked around here for two days or three, getting tablecloths that say Tupperware. She even got her Tupperware uh, outdoor chair out so she'd have a place to see it. So it's been a little event for her, and it's, she spent time getting ready for it. And give her something to look forward to, and I think they're going to do it tomorrow too. So if you're local, head on out there. Um, but anyway, I've got stuff I'm going to do here tomorrow. Me and Maggie Lou. So if she needs me to take her out there or take anything out there, or I can help her. But she needs that something to do. And she does her... 
things with her lady, so she keeps happy. Uh, my husband said he would have to put a little bell pepper in that tip. At least, at least I don't like hot bell pepper. I like it raw, but I don't really haven't found I like it in meatloaf or chili or any of that stuff. I'm weird like that. When you heat it, it feels like whatever I put it in, that's all I taste is the pepper. And then it kind of makes me sick when it's hot. Don't do nothing to them when it's raw. Now you think it'd be the opposite. Cooking the onions helps them. Not with me. I'm the opposite on that. Hey, watching from uh, Arkansas. Nana, you're just our neighbor that way. Uh, I'm having ramen noodles. Dana, those are good. And, you know, we make a lot of recipes where we add ramen noodles, not the packet of stuff, but we'll just add the dried noodles on top of it for casseroles. I make a, a cowboy coleslaw that I put, crunch those up on top of it. Delicious. Um, there's all kinds of ways you can fix it. You can boil them with chicken broth and leave out that little packet. They're good that way, too. So, now, I'm going to add some of these little great tomatoes. These are the sweet charms, and they're they taste wonderful. I washed these good, and you can see they're wet. And I washed them two or three times, but I tasted it one. It tastes like summertime. Mmm. It tastes wonderful. So I'm just going to add these in their hole because they're going to cook, and they'll pop open. It's gonna be a little something extra. I don't always, I don't always have these, but I will put canned tomatoes in them sometimes. Now look, that's plenty, and look, I've still got that much left. So there's plenty. Now those will just burst open with tons of flavor, and that's gonna be so good. I'm just gonna keep them. Rotating in there. What are y'all cooking tonight? Y'all seen some things on there. Sounds good. Yep, that one's already popping. Mm. Everything is coming together good. This is one of those dinners that's fine for one, fine for two, fine if you're having company. Uh, I have served this for company before and they love it. There's nothing wrong with cabbage and smoked sausage for company. I used to put some cheese out and crackers or something like that. Have this and maybe have another side or something. Never had a complaint yet. Hello from Minnesota. Hi, Carmen. Uh, had fish. Ooh, Sharon, I love fish. Mama does not care for fish. She'll eat catfish. She'll eat some cod and whiting because she says it don't taste fishy. If we make it at home, she wants it fried, though. That air fryer. I bought a new bottle. This That oil container that I have, it shoots out, but it don't miss. So I bought one that's supposed to be almost like a, a aerosol can. It's supposed to cover a big area. And I think that's what we need on our fish the other night. So I'm going to put some oil in it and give it a whirl. Um, some of y'all gave me some pointers on that. And uh, I'm going to... Maybe try it one more time. I may have to fry them all some in between. And then, so let's try that after again. Because if I say, that she goes, no, we ain't running no more fish. We're going to just going to fix it like I always do. She'll, she'll be straight. But this is, hmm. Wish y'all could smell it. That's the best part sometimes is smelling the goodness. All these tomatoes, if you have a small child or someone who has trouble swallowing, cut them in half, especially if you're not going to cook them. If you cook them, they're pretty soft. Uh, but if you're going to put them in a salad or something, always quarter them or half them or something. Because I've seen an article where that's just about the size of a small child's throat. And you're just really taking chances you don't want to take. So this has been going maybe, what, eight or nine minutes? And I have got some low sodium 
Well, less sodium. Less sodium soy sauce. And I'm going to put just a little bit in there for a little hint of that vinegary flavor. You could use balsamic vinegar. Uh, so I'm just going to drizzle, drizzle. A little bit of soy. Now this is less sodium, and remember, I have not put any salt. What I'm doing with the soy sauce is deglazing that pan, getting where that meat's fried in there. I'm pulling it up. It's going to flavor and color that meat. See that? Look at that. Look at that, folks. Mm-hmm. That's what we're looking for. Remember, when you see brown meat or something like that, you're seeing the flavor. That's where your flavor is. You want to stir that in. Mm -hmm. There you go. Notice how these onions that were red, purple, they call them red, but I call them purple. See how they're getting really pale? That means they're getting about, they're about warm through because they lose their color when you heat them. You put them in soup, you can't find them. They'll just look like a regular white onion. But those tomatoes, they'll pop open. They're getting roasted really good. They'll be hot all the way through. So what are y'all up to? Sweet kraut and caraway seeds is a game changer. Sweet kraut in this. Janice, I bet that would be good. Hi from South Carolina. Where did you go? Dawn. Hey, Dawn. Donna, it, I think it's going to be good. I ain't tasted it yet, but I've fixed it before. Uh, if something doesn't taste right, I put soy sauce in it. It fixes it. That probably is true. That's probably a true way of fixing it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add my coleslaw mix. And what this will do, this will smother that down. And it will cause those tomatoes to roast. It'll make them pop open while it's wilting this down. Now this is one little bag, it says here. Uh, it's not even a pound, it's 14 ounce bag. And I want you to see how much cabbage I have. You can tell if it's, mm, it smells good. It's, you can tell if it's good or not because my bag was solid. It hadn't swollen any or anything, so that's one way you can tell. So now, here we go. And I just start right in the middle. Now in this, I, this has got carrots and uh, purple cabbage and regular cabbage. So there's three ingredients that I would have had to put in there that I bought in this bag. No prep to that cabbage. No prep to those carrots. No prep to the purple cabbage. Didn't have to buy purple cabbage. Didn't have to worry with it. Now that came out of one back. Look at that pile of goodness. It'll make a lot of slaw too, if you're using it for slaw. But if you're using it for this, it is wonderful. Now I'm gonna cover this as much as I can, just like that. Whoops, carry it, get back in there. Carry it overboard. And like I said, what I'm doing is I'm smothering it down. And all that steam, it's, kind of, it's like a lid on it now. But all that steam is going to steam that cabbage. And come right up out of there. And it's going to cook down. And it's going to be so good. It's starting to steam. Alright, so what else is going on? That's a good keto meal, Valerie. Yeah. This shouldn't have... Mm, let me check the soy sauce. Two grams of carbohydrate per tablespoon. And I probably didn't put a whole tablespoon. So you've just got the meat. A little bit of carrots has probably got a few carbs. But uh, I wouldn't say you'd go over any limits with this meal. 
And like always, I say, we're, I'm not doing sides. This is it. Uh, hello from West Virginia. Hey, Terry, how are you? We are having spicy smoked sausage hot dogs with jalapenos. Oh, that sounds good, Janice. Dana, you're welcome. Thank you. Hi from Delaware, Patricia. How are you? Spaghetti tonight. Kathy, I had homemade sauce the other night. Did y'all see that? I still got sauce left. I can make pizza with that sauce. Or I can make uh, rigatoni, or um, what is it, baked rigat? What's the word I'm looking for? Rigatoni? I want to say rigatoni, that was some like. What's those noodles that have got the ridges on when they're hollow? Mm, that's what I can make. Baked ziti. I feel like you baked ziti. Meatloaf and crock pot mac and cheese. Now, Marla, I've never made crock pot mac and cheese. But I do like mac and cheese, and I've never, I don't think I would hate it in a crock pot for sure. Oh, where's Mama tonight? Y'all must have missed. She is out on an event selling Tupperware. It's not a party like in a home. It's a whole, I don't know what y'all call them, craft fairs, something, like where you come but it's more than that. It's, I guess, anything you want to set up. It's not a yard sale. I don't know. It's People have homemade things. They have crafty things. They have uh, those tumblers. They have cookies. They have mugs. They have all kinds of stuff. And they have Tupperware. Yeah. Mama's seen to that. Maria and Mama both are Tupperware. Y'all met Maria on here before. And, uh, She's helped a lot of y'all out, I'm sure, if you talk to her. But she answers most of our Tupperware questions. I am putting black pepper, even though I'm not putting salt. Black pepper. And I'm going to cover the top. That's what I like to do. I don't know when I started doing that. Somebody asked me the other day, said, is that a certain amount or something for you? No, I don't know. It just looks like it needs to be evened out. So if I'm making a dish, pot, whatever, I cover the top with spices all the time. I count that as a good helping. I don't know. There may not be a good reason for it. See that steam? That was trapped in there with that cabbage. Just like a lid. The top of it is still cool. You know, it's not cold, but it's not hot either. Because you got all those layers and they're stacked on top of each other. So it acts like a lid. Rolling it over now. Roll, roll, roll. Oh, that's got a good char on my smoked sausages. My tomatoes are popping open. That's what you want. You want them good and roasted till the skins pop open. Now don't make a mess. Mama will come by and I'll be in trouble. The uh, onions have cooked good. I'm just turning this over and letting that cabbage get its cook on. And then we'll be able to eat in a few minutes. I could cook this faster, hotter, and all that good stuff, but I don't want to. I just want it to slowly do its thing. Just like it is. Mm-hmm. See how it's cooking down? You remember when it was up there? It takes a minute to cook down. But you're not, you're not in a hurry. It's Friday night. Don't even have to go to bed early tonight. And I'm not even tired tonight. I guess my body knows. It's Friday night. Drink coffee till midnight. Watch a movie. Set up late. But around 9 o'clock, I'll probably still go to bed because 
I get up in the mornings, whether I go to bed early or late, and I'm not like a lot of people. They say, I love the weekends because I sleep late. If I have to get up early and go to work, then I'm sure want to get up early to stay home and do what I want to. I don't want to miss that. Um, I want to get up early. I want to go out and sit on the porch through the sunshine, even if it's cold. It ain't too cold for me. So I'll go out and drink coffee. Today it ain't too cold, but it can get too cold. But today it won't be too cold. And uh, it'll be 30 something in the morning. Uh, we're supposed to get, they said something about some snow, but I don't know. Um, but I like to get up, get out, enjoy the morning. When the roses are in bloom, they're the prettiest of the morning. Flowers. Right now, the trees are in bloom, but the dew keeps the pollen down while I'm out. Mornings are good if you have allergies for me. And um, just enjoy it. Eight o'clock, get to doing something. I don't want to sleep my day off away. Because then the weekend really does fly by and you don't lose an hour. Do you all know you lose an hour? We're springing forward. This It seems like it usually it was later, but I don't know. Maybe it was earlier even. But whenever it was, it is tomorrow night before you go to bed. Or you can get up at 2 o'clock if you don't to do it. It's up to you. How many of y'all have clocks you even have to fool with anymore? How many of y'all just use your phones? I have an alarm. I have an alarm clock that hasn't been set in five, six years. But uh, I have my phone. That's what I depend on. Are y'all that way? And my phone tomorrow night will automatically update, so I don't have to worry about it. But the microwave and the stove. And the clock that's hanging around, it'll take two or three days to get everything set ahead. And I've got one clock that'll be right after tomorrow night. I couldn't get it to fall back. I tried and tried, and I was getting frustrated. I said, what's it matter? I'll just take an hour off. So it'll be correct time tomorrow. I've been taking an hour off. Hope I don't start taking an hour off after tomorrow. It was a digital one, and it wasn't set. It, you hit set, you hold it in, get all that I used to do to it. So it'll be right for the next few months. I have two clocks that set themselves. I do too, Betty. I got a couple that set themselves. Just use my phone. Yeah, Vicky, I think like 99% of people do. Hate losing one hour sleep, work all this week. Carol, you would be surprised. Now, I just heard this the other night. They're like, we have 6% greater car wrecks on Sunday and Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. They already know. We're going to have 6% greater chances of car wrecks. It increases it by 6% because people are just kind of groggy. They ain't got their stuff together. It's Monday anyway. So, you all be at least... 10% more careful Monday when you go to work because the odds are not with us Monday morning. Really and truly, it's not. We don't, you don't want to take any chances. So be careful out there, folks. Be careful every day. But Monday, there's a 6% greater chance that we'll be involved in an accident because of the time change. Put a little bit more soy sauce. Since I found it, it's not going to be carbs. And it has low sugar, or low sodium. Less sodium. Uh, you would know that the paper is torn right where the sodium can is. It's milligrams. That's all I got. See? How'd that happen? I will. So that finished it off. That little bit of sodium. Look at that cabbage. We're down to perfect now. It's just right where you want it. The cabbage is all cooked down. The carrots have softened. The tomato, look at these tomatoes. Look at those. They are perfect now. They're, they're popped open right where you want them. Um, delicious. So, I'm going to turn it off. 
maybe it's already off. I think it's off now. I'm going to turn it off. I'm having a coffee. I have to put my cutting board and my knife over there. Right here. Have my little spoon. We're ready to eat. Are you ready? My cable sets my time. Yep, mine does too, thank goodness. That looks yummy. Well, thank you. Thank you, Francine. Mama is on a Tupperware event. So it's still. And that means she's on Tupperware at somewhere. Not a party. Uh, it's set up. And they can sell it sometimes like that, too. I really don't know. More heart attacks happened on Monday. Yes, Shirley. We're stressed out. Why do we do that? Looks delicious, John. Thank you, Stephanie. Why do we stress ourselves out? If you think about the things you actually have control over and things you can change, why do we can stress about the things we have no control over? Sometimes it's best if we just let it go and let God. But we're not programmed that way somehow. We want to kind of dive in and take care of it for some unknown reason. We need to let go and let God more than we do. I love cabbage. looks delicious. Gail, I hope it's going to be, and I'm fixing to tell y'all, but that's it. I'm going to give you a bird's eye view. And that's a meal that you could feed your whole family if you had four or five people. Uh, a couple of kids wouldn't even hardly put a dent in that. So it's quick, it's easy. And you can add bread to it. You can add toast to it. There's tons of stuff you could do. You could serve that with french fries. I mean, there's no limit to what you can add to that. Life is too short to stress out. That's right, Linda. And we're too blessed to be stressed. Clocks get set one hour forward. Yes, tomorrow night before you go to bed. I do mine before I go to bed. I don't care if it's wrong for a few hours. Because I ain't got mine done up at 2 o'clock to wake up and go set clocks. I'm going to have to try using that cold flow mix the next time. I need cabbage. Didn't think of you. Yeah, use that cold saw mix. You can use it for lots of things. You can use it for uh, soup. You can put a bag of coleslaw mix in your soup. You got your cabbage, you got a purple headed cabbage, and you got green cabbage. If you're making cabbage beef soup, you don't want to buy a head of cabbage. Some people don't eat cabbage except for cabbage soup, beef cabbage soup. You can take that bag of cabbage coleslaw, do your ground beef, do your onions, do your tomatoes, throw this bag of coleslaw mix in there, you're done. Um, hi from Alabama. Hey, Phyllis. Wanda Steely looks delicious. Thank you, man. Cabbage and smoked kielbasa. That's what we're having, Noah. Uh, hi from St. John, Indiana. Well, hello. Hey, John and Mama. Hey, John, I'm getting ready to go watch my granddaughter ride in her first barrel race. Sandra, I love barrel races. I love rodeo. I love all that stuff. My daddy raised, or didn't raise, I take it back. He he had horses all the time here. And we had one old horse named Ted. Now here's Ted's story. So Ted first lived with a lady that we know here, and she was an avid barrel racer. And she had trained Ted to do the right things. And... Um, <laughs> When she had to uh, move off and she didn't have the space and she was working, so she had sold Ted to my dad because I was young and I needed a, a horse that I could ride. Dad would bring in horses, they'd stay here a month, he'd trade them, sell them, I and mean, he always had something going. Uh, we've had everything on the farm. Anyway, so I loved Ted and he was the best horse ever, and I still miss Ted. But anyway, I was not an avid barrel racer. Y'all could imagine. 
even though I wasn't as big as I am now then, I still wasn't barrel racing material. Well, we had an orchard down below the house, and that was where we'd ride our horses. And Ted mind, he would mind anything. You barely had to even have a, a lead on him. But every once in a while, you'd be riding along, minding your business, thinking you were headed maybe to the pond or maybe over to the other field. And something would trigger old Ted to he thought he might be in a barrel race. If you cut a little sharp, maybe you was cutting around an apple tree Ted thought it was a barrel, and he would flat lay down and get it, and you was not prepared. There's been more times than one that I've been on a barrel run and didn't even know what was happening. Put egg money out. She's reminding us to put egg money out. What's egg money? That's how we buy our eggs. We uh, have a place for our egg money, and uh, the lady who brings us eggs, she delivers them. So we pay her for that, and... We have eggs. That's the way you do it around here. Or you go pick them up however you want to do it. We have a couple of people we get eggs from. Because uh, we're all friends of ours. And if they have them, we go get eggs. Like good fresh eggs. Hopefully you can keep them year-round. Sometimes you can't. But every once in a while, I'd be on a barrel run and didn't even know what hit me. And I had to hold on because when you barrel race, you all know it's a short distance. It's a quick turn. And them horses know what to do. That was my experience with barrel racing. But for the most part, he was always mind and everything. But every once in a while, if you cut too sharp around something, it was on. The race was on. <laughs> oh, Sunday rides in the mountain was one of my favorite things. You take a uh, Sunday horse ride through the mountains, especially in the fall. Loved it. My dad bought me a Shetland pony when I was young. Horses. Judy, they are wonderful. Horses are just a majestic, beautiful animal. Uh, I'll have to kiss your replay. Love you, Buckle. Thank you, ma'am, Miss Kathy. So if you ever buy a horse that's been an avid barrel racer, what's in turns? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good old times. I have a neighbor who brings me fresh eggs. Cindy, you're lucky. Um, well, this is our neighbor. It's just over the road a little ways. And we have a, a guy we get him from sometime. We get him from Lowe's Branch Ranch sometimes. And we'll just, you know, share the, share the egg. Load. And they're all good. Miss Mama Aunt Pat, I do too. Uh, I miss her, but I'm glad she's out and about having a good time. Get yourself Alexa. Again, that's what was telling me. She was telling me to put some egg money out. Hey Doris, how are you? Thank you for watching. <laughs> Mary, you think that'd be funny watching me barrel rats? I admit, it would be better than the clown at the rodeo. Hello John, where's Mama? <laughs> Vicki, she's on a Tupperware event. Um, they set up a table, they've taken when you're in Tupperware, every month, if you're going to have something to show people, you have to buy what they got samples. You have to pay for them. But, you, you know, uh, you get them at a discount rate, very little. But, I mean, it's not like they give them to you or nothing. So, after you've done it a while, you accumulate. You know all the stuff we show you all? Uh, most of the time we're taking it out of the bag. Those are samples that we have we purchased to show you all. We get to purchase them usually a couple of weeks early, so they'll be here for that month. And uh, if you've ever sold Tupperware, you know it builds up after a minute. And uh, so that's what Mama's off doing tonight is, you know, doing a little event. Tupperware lets you do that. You can't set up a storefront or anything, but you can do events because that just helps advertising for Tupperware. And um, so we do it. Mama enjoys it. She she likes the meeting. She likes her director. She likes getting together with everybody in chat and having a good time so uh, and she works up her stuff and does all that and she enjoys it she enjoys it. she enjoys the, the church cookbooks she loves uh, getting those together getting them to the post office getting them I and mean, you know it gives her a job to do and sometimes it's 
bigger than others, but she does enjoy it. She enjoys what she does. Uh, and she enjoys this. She enjoys um, coffee time. And we talk about it every day. Uh, she talks about you all like your her nieces and nephews or her grandkids. You know, she'll say, what are we going to cook for them tonight? What do you want to do? Well, I thought we might try so-and-so. We might, I think that sounds good, Mama. Uh, and sometimes she'll say, I have no idea. I have no earthly idea what we can fix. And I'll say, well, what about? And sometimes that'll give her an idea. So it's just a little, it's just something to be, you know, fun and entertains her when she's thinking. And she loves to go through cookbooks and she's earmarked and uh, not earmarked. We don't like to fold them down, but uh, put a little sticky note in it so we can say, well, let's try this one sometime. Let's try this one sometime. So that's what we did. Well, let's try this. Let's give it a whirl. See what we've come up with here. I'm excited to taste those hot tomatoes. Look how hot that is. I thought I was going to let it cool down a minute, but hmm, didn't. Didn't. Now these carrots and that coleslaw have cooked. They're shredded in there, so it don't take them long to cook. Now you can put cheese on this. You can do whatever you want to, to make it more keto, less keto. I don't know what you're going to do into it. But it's, it's, it's going to be delicious. I know for a fact. Never have used slaw this way. Looks really good. Now Judy, it's just the slaw mix, so there's no, Nothing in it, just the co it was just cabbage prepared. You can get a lot of that prepared stuff in the store. Sometimes it's cheaper and you don't have to do the work. But I have found several good uses for this coleslaw mix. Several. Uh, if you make um, some kind of casseroles, um, you know, like you can do cabbage roll, become unrolled cabbage roll casserole, you know, that stuff. You can put your hamburger meat, you can put some coleslaw mix in there and it makes it wonderful. Uh, we use it for soup, definitely. Use it for any kind of stir fry with cabbage in it, definitely. It's delicious. Uh, I recommend it. Try it. My mom was born in Davis and she was raised in Williamsburg, Kentucky. Glenda, we may be related because that's just a few miles from here. I can hear John uh, talking good. So I can't hear me again. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if it's our something. I don't know. I don't have anything to fix on my end. I know some of y'all have said you couldn't hear, and other people say I hear you fine. I put ketchup on it. Oh, on this, Greg. I don't know about ketchup on it. That that would be good, I guess, if you like that. Looks delicious. I just got Alexa. Who said that? See, sometimes it'll jump and you like go up 20 jumps or something. I can't even find you again. I just got Alexa and so far I've just learned to turn the light on. I'll learn more in time. Bessie. She can do all kinds of stuff. She can give you reminders. She can do calendar events. You can tell her, you can say her name and then say, add avocado oil to the list and she'll add it to your shopping list. And it comes up on your phone when you go to the grocery store, you go to the Lexus app and you get your whole grocery list. You don't have to remember to write it down. You just holler it out. She can play music for you. There's all kinds of things she can do. How I um, like to try an egg rolls. Sharon, it, um, yeah, this would be good in egg rolls if you want to wrap them up with the... Yeah, yeah, this is what you need to go to. Uh, does Mama go to homes and do her Tupperware parties? Barbie, she doesn't. Uh, our parties are on here. Um, she goes to events, like tonight she's at one. But um, during COVID... They didn't do many in-house parties, but they're getting back to that. But uh, Mama doesn't do that, but she does do the uh, Facebook parties. They have so many ways of doing parties now. You can do virtual, which is what Facebook parties are kind of about. You can do in-home parties. You can do uh, all kinds of things. If anybody wants to be on Mama's team, you can go to her link, and I'll put it in here underneath. Get the little three hamburgers up here in the corner. 
the three lines. And when you hit that, it brings up a menu. It says shop and it says join. You hit join and it'll walk you through the steps. It'll tell you what you need. It'll tell you what prizes you get. It tells you the whole thing. And you can join and then you can start getting temporary reduced price. And then you can start making money and you have your own business. It's, it's an actual business. So, uh, well, I have avocado ready to my list. <laughs> Oh, Nancy, do you? Well, you need avocado oil, I bet. Very often, I need it. I can hear you loud and clear. Thank you, Linda. In regards to John Child, who's employed at the policy. Yeah, everybody wants to know where do I work. I don't say I'm here. Not because it's secret. It's just... My employer has a policy, a social media policy, and because of my position, I have to do a disclaimer and say, the views and opinions expressed in this video are of mine only, and they do not represent, blah, blah, blah. And if I forgot, then it would be bad. Or, you know, I just don't want to get into that. Trust me, it's nothing... You know, I like it. I like the job. But uh, it's not that I'm keeping it a secret because, I mean, local people know. And um, it's not that. It's just because of that policy. I don't want to have to say that on every video. Because what if I forget? Uh, can't do it. Coffee time with John and Mama. I like watching you every day. Well, thank you, Cheryl. We appreciate you. We appreciate each and every one of you. We really do. And Mama worries about y'all. She cries about y'all. She, you all send her stuff that just touches her. And she is so uh, humble. My Mama is the type of person, she loves the card as much as the gift. She loves the kind words as much as she would a gift. And she doesn't ever want anything. Mama, what do you want for your birthday? No, nothing. Just happy and healthy and something good to eat. What do you want for Christmas? If we can just be together and have a Christmas meal, that's gift enough for me. Mama, what do you want? Nothing. Nothing. I don't need anything. She won't take anything. So I just listen. If I hear her talking to somebody and, and she'll say, I was thinking about getting me a red scarf. And I'll try to find her a red scarf. So I'm always on the listen. What is she saying? What's it, you know? Is she saying she wants something? Or if she says something like, uh, you got a pretty jacket or you got something. Pretty. I'll try to find something similar to that because I know she likes it. Maybe she don't have it. Because she never wants for anything. She just, she's just content. She really is. Uh, you can buy her uh, enough yarn to make an afghan and boy, she'd be tickled to death. You buy her some of that white thread she loves to make snow flakes out of. She's tickled to death. Um, and Mama's just like that. You know, she says she's simple, and she is. She is. Um, always thankful. She always tries to find the good. She's just super sweet. Uh, what you see is the real thing. I mean, people sometimes will say, um, do y'all practice? Do we don't do nothing. If we start the camera, we do what we do. What we're doing, and when we're not filming, it's no different than when y'all are here. We don't do anything that's different. We don't try to. It's not about... Um, being fake or anything and what we do and what we say and how we are is what we do and what we say anytime. So, uh, Mama, if you've seen Mama on here and you know her on here, you know her. Uh, and we get that all the time. Like, we'll be out somewhere and people will recognize us. And they'll say, John and Mama. And Mama will start and they'll say, you're just like yourself. Mama said, I don't know how to be anything else. And um, I, it's just funny to me sometimes that people... I think that it's like, um, it's almost like they see us as characters or something and when we're in real life, they don't think we're in real life. But we are. You can ask people who know us and they'll say, yeah, that's, that's, you know, they're that crazy. <laughs> okay, my food's getting cold. You know how Mama says, Mama's not here to keep me from talking. We may be here half the night. You know, one well, of y'all better take over for Mama tonight. Let's bless our food and let's taste our food, all right? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to protect this food. And we just ask you to bless our bodies with it, dear Lord. And dear Lord, as, our, as we gather here with our friends tonight, there's many prayer requests out there, Lord. We just pray that you'll answer each and every one of them. Uh, just 
the helpless to do as you'd have us to do, walk and talk with the hands you'd have us to walk and talk, and be who you'd have us to be always, dear Lord. And we ask all these things in your precious name. Amen. So let's give it a try. And since I'm most interested in these wonderful tomatoes, that's going to be my first bite. Wonderful tomatoes. Mm. Folks, that tastes like summertime to me. It tastes just like summer. And here's the cabbage tomatoes. And let's get us a piece of smoked sausage. I guess you could call that the perfect bite. We got it all. Mmm. Didn't add any salt. Just this here and the soy that's got less salt. It's a keeper. It should be. I've made it enough. It's one of my go-tos. And I will um, put that in some Tupperware, put it in the refrigerator. Mama might want some of it tomorrow for lunch. She wouldn't mind eating it early in the day with the onions. But it don't have too many in it for her. She can eat a few. I just put a half of a well, not even a whole half, just a part of a purple onion. And, um, but, um, I'll eat that tomorrow for lunch, or I'll take it one day next week for my lunch. Because it's easy, quick, you saw in a bowl, throw it in the microwave, get you a plastic spoon at work, and you're ready to go. Love cabbage, Sue Elliott, I do too. Are y'all frozen? Did I freeze y'all up, or did y'all do it on your own? Mr. Fresh and Seth, yummy. That looks good. Charlotte is. Hi, Kim. Love your mama so much. I miss mine. Oh, Vanessa, I'm so sorry. Try leaving the page and come back in. Nola says if you can't hear. I hope you read that because you probably didn't hear me say that. Prayers for your granddaughter, Miss Cheryl. Miss Cheryl, prayers for your granddaughter, whatever's going on there. Oh, here, please pray for my granddaughter. She was going to die. What is that, pot? Oh. Oh, Miss Cheryl, she has tests out for lupus and leukemia let's do remember her send her up some hearts let her know we're going to be supporting her miss the beginning what did you make um we made smoked sausage and cabbage and i used a pack of of uh, coleslaw mix see now this wouldn't be here if mama was here she'd done had all that cleaned up i just used this right here fresh express garden it says three color deli coleslaw. It was just one bag. It's got carrots and it's got the purple cabbage and it's got a uh, regular cabbage. It makes a perfect stir fry. I had no prep, no, no mess, no half a cabbage left. You know, some people just use it for their soup and they don't, what are you going to do with the rest of that cabbage? It'll go bad before you get to use it. Or maybe you have to, well, I'll have to make coleslaw. I don't have to do this. This is a perfect way to use it and a perfect way to use that coleslaw. And that coleslaw mix will last for me a week or so in the refrigerator if I buy a good tight one to start with. When you get to the store, press on it and see their air, their air they suck the air out of them. Press on it, make sure it's still good and hard, no puffy. Once it starts getting bad, then you will see it'll start puffy. And you don't want that. Let's send pressure for Cheryl's granddaughter. Miss Mama, but love watching you. Oh, well, thank you, Gloria. I know, y'all don't have to tell me Mama is the, Mama's the one everybody comes to see because she'd be the one I'd come to see, too. Y'all y'all love Mama and y'all tolerate me, and I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you, Julie. Everybody's sending up prayers for Cheryl's grand. Just tuned in, where's Mama Lana? She is at a Tupperware event. I think I'm... You've made this with hamburger meat? Yeah, you could do this with hamburger meat. You could do this with chicken. Uh, I don't do it with chicken as often, but you certainly could. Fresh for comfort, Joanne says, volume 
volume's too low, Kathy? I don't know, maybe there is something going on. I'll have to look, but I've got the microphone in, I've got it turned up. I use Mrs. Dash Facebook on everything. Polly, yeah, Mrs. Dash is good for low sodium. Dinner looks good, well thank you, Wilda. I appreciate that. Oh, thank you, Teresa. I wasn't hitting for compliments. I know y'all love me. I just know that you can't not love Mama. She is just so sweet. Uh, people say, I love to hear Mama laugh. It's one of my favorite things is to hear Mama laugh. Because uh, it just, you can just feel the love and it just, she's out there with it. Hey, Angela Britt. Love you guys. Hey, Phyllis. We love you all too. We really do. Um, like I was saying earlier, Mama talks about y'all all the time. Um, and she'll talk about, um, and now Mama, when, when you say that we'll pray for you, Mama names y'all the names in church. Uh, now, Cheryl, she will probably, um, Sunday, when she reads this and when I tell her, she'll just say, remember Cheryl's granddaughter. And a lot of times people at church say, is that somebody y'all know or is that somebody on Facebook? Mama will say, that's one of our friends on Facebook. And, I, you know, I've been praying for it. So you really are under Mama's prayers whenever you ask for them. Mama prays and I pray. But Mama's so dedicated to it. Um, in every service, she um, she don't name everybody by name. That would be impossible. But you know, if it's something that sticks out, or like this situation where uh, several of y'all are speaking of it, then Mama will remember that. And if not, she always says, "Remember all of our friends on Facebook and all their prayer requests." And you know, if they care enough to ask us to pray, we have got to represent them well. And uh, she she means that. She really does. And uh, it's it's a ministry for her and me both. I mean, that's our whole point in this, is just spread a little positive. Take a little coffee break. It's not about coffee. We don't know much about coffee other than we, I like it. Uh, but we don't, someone said, what do you do with coffee? I said, just drink it. Just drink it. It's just a coffee break. That's all coffee time is. It's, it's coffee time, folks. Let's take a break from the world. Take a break from your troubles. Sit down here and let's, let's talk a little. Sit down here and we'll cook us up something good to eat. And you'll hear people say that in the South. Take a load off. Let's visit. That's a common thing here. Is let's just take a little break. And take a load off and we'll visit a spell. And when we say a spell, it just means for a little while or time. A time period. Like people will say, I was pretty sick there for a spell. It means I was sick for a week or so. That's just a little Southern thing that we do. So that's what it's all about. It's all we're really interested in. But anyway, Mama's a night owl tonight. I mean, what time is it? It's almost 8 o'clock. And she's, mercy sakes alive, she's out. I think the event went to 9. And she won't leave early. She's probably talking to somebody right now, having a good time. Thank you, Annie. Prayers, Rhonda. We'll be praying for you. Uh... Thank you. Thank you for those kind words, Sue. All that. Hi, Kathy. How are you? Hello, Roxy. How are you? Let's see here what she said. Susan says, So funny, my 10 year old granddaughter says, What time is John and Mama coming? Aw. Susan, what's her name? We'll say hello to her. I'll just go ahead and say, hello, Miss Susan's granddaughter. Thank you for watching us and worrying about what time we're coming on. That's so sweet. One of our friends stopped by one day. She, I just have something to tell you. She said, my granddaughter plays like she's you all. And says so she's got a box and she cut a hole out in it. And she says she'll stand in there, sit in there and say, now I'm going to cook this. And she said, and she'll say, it's coffee time. What are you doing? I was so flattered, I couldn't help it. I thought, that was just so humbling to have a child that was so sweet. We love our kid recipes. Uh, we used to do that more. Uh, we would just have you to ask your child. If y'all want to send us some, we'll read them. Um, just ask your child, how, the, how do you fix their favorite meal? One of my friends had a little boy and was making macaroni and cheese. And he was, uh, you cook it for 20 
20 hours or something, you know. And I thought, I bet it feels like that to him when he's waiting on his mommy to make his macaroni and cheese. Uh, and what do you put in it? And they come up with the, the most wonderful little recipes. Um, what they think is in it is what they tell you. And just write down exactly what they say. Don't change it. Don't rearrange it. Just say, this is how you make macaroni and cheese. Or this is how you make, maybe their favorite meal is lasagna. How do you make lasagna? And uh, they'll tell you. And it's so funny. How long do you cook it for? What temper do you put it on? Uh, all those things. It's just amazing. We've had some really funny ones over the past two years, three years. And uh, we enjoy them. Folks. I'm going to say goodnight. Mama ain't here to get on to me, so I'm going to say goodnight. I'm going to say God bless y'all. And uh, I'm going to tell you goodnight for Mama. And uh, y'all have a blessed day, a blessed night tonight, a blessed day tomorrow. Lord will we be on tomorrow. We'll do something. We're going to, let me look. Um, strawberries are still not ripe, ripe. So we might not be able to make preserves tomorrow, but as soon as they get ripe at the Mama's liking, we're going to make some freezer preserves out of those strawberries, that case of strawberries. So uh, it won't be long. We'll have some freezer preserves to show you. We love those things. Those are wonderful on ice cream or toast or just in your plate. It's, it's just wonderful. If you've never made them, they're not that hard and they taste so good. Uh, so Mama will show, I don't know. Mama will have to show you all that one. I'll be her assistant though. I'll be whatever she tells me to do. So y'all have a blessed night. And Lord willing, we'll see y'all tomorrow, okay?